thank you so much for watching. I'm Pippi Peterson. As you may know, I have recently renovated my floors, I've replaced my toilet, I've got cool wainscoting, and uh, now I'm thinking, wouldn't it be kind of cool to do a little bit of work in the kitchen? You can see like the laminate on top of the countertops is peeling and cracking, and I've got this lovely wallpaper that's original from 1992 and um, my my sink faucet uh, has to be replaced because it's leaking uh, I've been doing dishes for a few months now in the bathroom so I'm just thinking you know this whole thing needs a little bit of a renovation and I'm so excited for that so I've got some plans and that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to start out by Washing the walls, yay! <laughs> Not my most favorite part, but uh, definitely necessary to um, to do before painting over the walls. Or, sorry, painting over the wallpaper. Yeah, and I've also got a bunch of these little stickers. I guess I'm gonna have to remove this sticker. It's reminding me this sticker is to not use my stove as a comfort heater. That is a good suggestion. However, you know, I've actually done that before. I know you're not supposed to, but... Maybe I will just sand the sticker down and then uh, paint over it. That's what sandpaper's for, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just sand over it. Let's see how well it sands. Oh, that sands really well. Actually, I'm just going to sand over it. All right, continue with the washing then. So washing might be a little boring, but it's getting a little more excited because I get to get out my screwdrivers. <laughs> I just got to take off this little guy here. And I guess I need to take off this, uh, this little white strip back here as well. You have served well, little white strip. I think the white strip is just a little reluctant. It was enjoying its service. It doesn't want to go. Oh man. It's a little more than a little white strip. <laughs> hmm, the quick decision. Leave it in there or take it out. Because it's actually got this uh, it's not just a little strip, it's got a thing that goes down the back. Hmm, well let me just fiddle with it a little more, see how it goes. Here's a little white strip. <laughs> it was stapled in, no wonder why it was hard to get out. Um, and it has left like a quarter inch gap. Um, so, always unexpected things to deal with. Yay! A gap behind my counter. <laughs> so, anyway, one, one step further. So I finally got the walls washed, I got them sanded. Uh, I ripped out at least most of the little white strip. There's a little bit that's just kind of hard to access. And, um, now I'm going to tape. I'm always so anxious. I can't wait to. I can't wait to put paint on the walls. I can't wait to like use my paintbrush and um, you know crack open one of these cans. <laughs> but uh, necessities first, right? So, actually, um, uh, obviously, this video is a lot shorter than real time. You know, it's taking um, a lot longer, obviously. <laughs> so I turn the camera off when I'm working. And um, I'm listening to this cool video on YouTube about um, like ancient, uh, like they found like some cool Egyptian artifacts 
around the world, you know, not just in Egypt, like they found some in the Grand Canyon and um, elsewhere and um, listening to the, some, uh, uh, what do you call it, theories on um, the Sphinx being like way older than predicted. So anyway, I'm like super enjoying my video. So it makes taping and washing walls a little bit more tolerable because I can't wait to get to uh, painting it. Even just the primer, I just can't wait to like start putting stuff on the walls. So it's tape time. Back to that ancient Egypt video. <laughs> so now it's all taped up. I learned a little bit about ancient Sumeria and I'm ready to put the primer on. So excited. <laughs> By the way, for more details on the products that I'm using and um, some more specifics on how to do some of the, these tasks, you can uh, check out the how-to videos I did for each of these steps. So it's primer time. I remember when I was, uh, I don't know, like a teenager or something, um, I, I always loved to, uh, you know, do any kind of renovations or painting and changing the look of a room. Um, that uh, my parents had this spare bathroom and anytime they went out of town or, um, I don't even remember somehow come off guard <laughs> I would actually paint that bathroom um, sometimes in crazy colors like one time I painted it um, like this bright golden yellow like I think the top half was yellow and the bottom half was like this dark dark royal blue uh, or even navy kind of glowy indigo blue and um, I painted like <laughs> these crazy suns on the wall and <laughs> my mom did not like that. It was a very dark uh, appearance, but um, that was really fun. And uh, so then my mom made me paint over it, so I painted over it. And then, um, and then I moved out. Um, or let's see, before that, yeah, maybe I painted over it and then she did something. And then again, <laughs> I, I couldn't stop. I couldn't help myself. I, so, uh, I don't know, probably sometime when they were gone, um, I, there was like a space above the, um, the shower and I kind of did like a little mural. <laughs> I painted it dark blue to start out with because it was a, a little, uh, mural of, um, unicorns in a pasture and um there was like you know slightly colored but more silhouette trees and like a glowing moon <laughs> and i even put like glitter into the paint so like this the sky would <laughs> be glittery i never finished the uh the unicorns though i got one just the base and i didn't do all the detail on top of it but um yeah so i've i've always loved like painting and and I remember too like um anytime my parents weren't home um like let's say I would I would say oh I'm sick I can't go to church we had to go to church every Sunday and so I didn't want to do that every Sunday so I'd be sick and then um they'd come home and like all of the furniture in the living room would be completely rearranged <laughs> um or like I, I remember even when I was um, 
man, at that house, I must have been like 10 years old. I carried this enormous chair up. It was like a split entry um, uh, house. So I carried this chair. I actually pushed it up with my back, like this enormous, it was a reclining chair that folded out into a bed. Um, not quite a height of bed, but more like a height of bed for like a double size or single. Yeah. What's it called? Single? A single bed or twin. Okay. I think, yeah. Anyway, I pushed that all the way up and got in my room. My mom comes home. She's like, she's like, what did she say? Um, she's like, how in the world did you get this chair up here? <laughs> I think I boggled her mind because it's a very heavy chair, but um, I was determined to like have different furniture in my room and all this sort of stuff. I remember too, um, when I was a teenager, um, at one point I put like a ton of stuff in my room, like um, street signs and um, uh, pool sticks. And I mean, the walls were just covered in knickknacks and weird things and then after that I went to a phase I took everything out of my room I took the bed out I slept on the carpet <laughs> and, um, and then I went through like my minimal phase and I'm not sure I ever ever got out of the minimal phase because I like things pretty simple and uh, clean and minimal so yeah, and one time I took spray paint and um, painted the a piece of the wall behind my bedroom door I painted it um, like this bright orange <laughs> spray paint actually it's, it's kind of like the the color of my shorts like this bright orange my mom was so pissed <laughs> but gotta have fun right so sweet can't wait here we go here goes the primer now in the midst of painting I'm gonna tear up the the countertop I've been waiting to do this for so long this thing's just been peeling and um, I can already begin to see like a little bit of mildew staining or mold um, the wood seems fine though but um, yeah this this pretty much had to come up so um, and finally you know, it's you know it's so ugly it was kind of like rippling you know I could see the air bubbles below so um, this is very exciting. Already changing a lot of the look. So I have reached the most exciting part. Um, I've got two coats of primer on and it's dried and cured and I'm ready to put the color on. And I chose, I can't remember what it's called, but um, you kind of see it. You'll see it in the end too. It's kind of like a, a blue. I got this color because I love so much tropical Caribbean blue turquoise waters. I always want to be on vacation in the Bahamas, Bora Bora, Thailand. I just love those color of oceans. So I wanted to bring that in. Um, whether or not some people say it's a traditional color or not for a kitchen, I don't care. I want as much tropical, beautiful blue waters in my life as possible. So I am painting my kitchen that color. I can't wait to see what it looks like too. It's also, it's still, I also didn't want to do, even if I liked, <laughs> I don't know, vacations in dark locations, dark areas or whatever, I still wouldn't want to put a dark color on my wall. Um, you know, because RVs are so small as it is, you need to keep it bright. So I'm hoping that when this is on, it's still going to look very bright. I'm in the middle of, um, 
Actually, I'm almost done tearing off the uh, linoleum stuff on the countertop. And it's a lot of work and, you know, I'm looking at all the glue that has to be removed, you know, or sanded. And, um, you know, it's just, it's a lot of work. I mean, I love the work, but, um, so I'm doing a little labor up here. Meanwhile, I'm barefoot and I, which I, I love to work barefoot. I know some people have mentioned that before. Um, and I am just absolutely delighted and it washes over any work that I'm doing. I'm so delighted in my floors. They just feel so smooth and they feel very cool. And uh, I just can't wait to bring the new kitchen together with the floor. Um, so I just wanted to mention that I'm just, I, I love the floor and I, I put so much work into it. And this counter thing and the painting and the faucet is not, no work compared to the floor. So anyway, it's pretty much just weekend fun <laughs> like it is. So anyway, yeah, I'm enjoying the floor. It's awesome. Back to work. So after so much time, I've, uh, I'm finally ready to uh, paint the countertop. It took forever to get um, the adhesive out of the, the, the top part of the wood. So I was sanding and sanding and, and then there was little pieces of um, laminate that was really hard to get out like over here by the stove. It was so hard. That took, it probably, it took about like three days of, uh, not solid days, but you know, it got so boring because I like really had to focus on it. So um, I was kind of working on that for several days. But uh, I'm really happy to finally be doing the um, the countertop, and it's nice to just see this uh, gross, sticky wood, you know, get covered up. And I'm excited to to see what it looks like. It's been a couple days and I primed the countertops once and then I sanded them and I primed them again. That way it gives all those finishing oils a lot extra chance to really soak into the wood, preventing any sort of uh, uh, water leaking into the wood in the future. After that, I put my color on. Um, and so at this point, I've reached possibly the most fun part of the project, which is putting the pennies in. I'm putting my pennies in. And this is, I didn't, exp I mean, I just hadn't done it before, but <laughs> obviously it, uh, it's a lot of laying specific pennies, um, you know, which isn't a quick, a quick uh, thing but I'm really enjoying it and uh, this is the t part of the project where um, you just put on like a ball game or or something you know watch your favorite YouTube channels you know just turn those on and and chill with the process uh oh I'm losing a penny under here but it's really cool The pennies that the the, the bank gave me um, were like are mostly like 2004 pennies. So my my original plan was to do like some sort of pattern. I wanted like you know maybe like ripples, like circles, or um, even like lines or something to kind of distinguish like the dark pennies and the light pennies and make some sort of pattern. But um, I'm actually happy that they gave me so many new pennies because I think these ones are just beautiful, um, and, and I like it better than you know having dark ones because I want it to be as light as possible. However, some some of the pennies are like, um, you know, they got like that blue rust or whatever that is, you know, that makes pennies blue. And so I thought that'd be kind of cool 
with the blue background and just the bright shiny ones have contrast. Um, so I laid out a bunch of, uh, of the blue ones. And at first I was like kind of laying them out randomly and I wanted to lay them out because uh, I was forgetting to put them in. <laughs> you know, you just kind of keep putting in the shiny ones. So I thought I'd lay them out. And then as I was laying them out, I thought, hey, wouldn't that be kind of cool if, um, if the pattern where they were laid out has some sort of meaning? Um, why not add some sort of characteristic or uh, personality, you know, to the unique randomness? So I decided to lay them out in the pattern of the Pleiades constellation. So I'm really excited about that. So I laid, I laid the Pleiades constellation out here and then I've just got some random other blue ones kind of laid out for whenever I get there.